Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing great. So gardening comes with the good, bad, and ugly. And right now we are experiencing the ugly. This video is long and I give detailed information so you can make an informed decision. Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing great. Well, honestly, I am trying to do great than how I'm feeling right now. I am extremely disappointed. So where do I start so about last week not last week about a few weeks ago I noticed some of my plants were just dying especially my collard greens in some of the buckets so I was thinking did I overwater it so I kept checking like underneath it to make sure there was enough drainage and I kept trying to figure it out so I went back and I replanted more collard greens so even yesterday I was telling my sister one of my sisters that we went um, to different farms trying to find collard greens plants. I have not bought collard greens plants, pepper plants, or any, like, a lot of seedlings in years. Maybe I'll buy, like, a few here and there, cauliflower or whatever, when I see it, just because I want extra. But this time around, when I'm telling you, stuff just, I will turn the camera around so you can see some of the stuff I'm talking about. So, long story short, I've been trying to figure this out for the last, like, couple of weeks. So I Googled some stuff this morning, I came out and it's been raining a lot. Usually when it rains a lot this time of year, like you come outside, like it's so much green. So my husband said to me, he said, I know this, it's not a lot of like fast, like the greens are not growing fast like they normally do. And we have not bought greens in years. So, because usually this time of year, we are harvesting a lot of greens. And so I'm not buying any greens. So the other day I had to buy one cabbage from the organic market, which was about $10 and I was like having a fit. And so anyway, I've been trying to figure it out. So I'm Googling stuff, trying to figure it out. And I talked to uh, another, uh, another gardening friend of mine who was having issues with her strawberries. And I thought it's the mulch because I'm thinking maybe the mulch, we are having issues with the mulch. But then I thought about it, I said, but she's, so over the weekend I was thinking about it after I told her that, and I said, but she's using a different type of straw mulch, and I'm using a different kind, so why are we still having problems? So anyway, I'm Googling stuff, and then I go to YouTube this afternoon. YouTube recommended a video on my, on my feed, so I'm like, okay, let me watch the video. Watch the video. This lady is talking about how all of her pepper plants, including her eggplants, have died. And so I'm watching the video and I'm reading the comments and people are talking about what this lady used and some of them what they have also used. Let me show you. This. This here. So you guys have seen videos where I show mixing this up with different soil to use it. So usually when I'm doing, when I'm mixing up my, my soil, I always put mask on because I don't like the dust and healing the dust because it messes with my eyes months. So I really didn't smell the ammonium they were talking about in here, but I noticed the different texture. So the texture normally, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. The texture was really wet. It was like wet and it was clumps. And so I'm thinking, well, maybe it's wet and clumps because it's been raining a lot and it's been sitting, but the bed wasn't open when I bought it. It was closed up, but I'm still thinking maybe it just got water in it somehow. That's why it's all like mooching and all this stuff. But because the cow manure that was in here, it was missile cow pee and it didn't, it didn't dry. Like it was supposed to dry before the packages. So because of that, it caused ammonia. I hope I'm explaining it right. And I usually use this on everything in my garden. I mix it with other stuff. Thank God that I mix it with other stuff because I would have lost all of my plants. But the plants that I noticed where I use most of that because I have my receipt in my pocket, I usually purchase it from Lowe's. And so far this year, I have purchased about six bags of this because I use it under my apple trees. And today, this morning, I also noticed my pomegranate trees the leaves started to change it went from being from being lush green to and now it's starting to have like yellow spots all over and this is what i have been using so before it rained because we had a stretch of a couple of days that rain so before it rained 
I used this and fed all of my plants. I woke up this morning and I'm seeing like issues. Some of the plants are dead. Let me show you one. Let me show you this. So this is one of the bags. This is cantaloupe. I put four cantaloupe plants in here. Do you see how these things look dry? Do you see how these things look dry? Look, this is gone because they are moaning. And I use, I use this in a cantaloupe. So now I'm going to have to come and remove all of this, especially I'm mainly worried about my apple tree, my fig, my pomegranate, the other plants, I can kind of work around it. I have lost some pepper plants like I just couldn't figure I thought maybe because it's been raining a lot it was really cold at one point maybe because of the changes in weather that's why the plants were dying honestly that's what I thought but then when it kept happening especially with my collard greens let me show you another one so it's another bucket I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you and this is how my collard greens this is what been happening a lot of them See? It's done. It's done. Yep, all of them. Look, this one is gone. It's the same thing with this one. This one. Look at it. This one. All of them. Pretty much gone. Gone, gone, gone. And look at this one. Let's and it's not like it's dry dry but the surface just look dry and it just it just dies like that everything just dries out look at this one everything just completely dries out oh gosh this is a tough year So it's really no point for it to be. And this is how some of my peppers was. And I didn't realize it. Like I said, I was thinking like, oh my God, maybe because of the cold. But that's what been happening because of the ammonia. So it died from the roots and it climbed all the way up. And that's how I've been losing plants. So I have that underneath my apple trees. I have to kind of remove all of that. I don't think I would be able to mess with the berries. I'm gonna try my best because it's a lot of like tongs and stuff over there. But let me show you here. Let me move this, remove this. And y'all know normally my peas are nice and fresh, right? But look, this is the same area that I always plant peas, but I use that over here. And everything is just, it's just dying. Literally, 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 slow, slow, very slow. We plant more seeds. I don't know what to expect. I honestly do not know. Some of my peppers are starting to come up because it's been raining a lot, but a lot of them died. Let me show you. Oh, yes, there goes another one. Let me show you two, actually. See? Yep. This one looks like it's starting to struggle, so I gotta come and pour a lot of water on it. You see what I'm saying? This is what's been happening to some of my pepper plants. It just dry and breaks off. Let me show you this one. You see this one? This one is done. That's what's been happening because of that. I'm really disappointed, um, but in a way, I'm really grateful because if I didn't see that video on YouTube, and this is why I always encourage people, when you're gardening or whatever, please share your experience because you never know who you could help. If this lady had not shared her experience on YouTube, I honestly would have bought more bags of this. Thinking that I needed to add more compost to my soil to help it. And I would have been killing everything more and more. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know I always share things that I do you know for the last you know my husband was telling me he said well just think about it this way for the last five years in a row you have not had any problems in your garden you know you harvesting food all the time 
no problems and this is the first time in five years and sometimes farmers go through at least that one rough year and i honestly do think this year is going to be my rough year as hard as i have worked i almost want to cry like i'm telling y'all like i work so hard out here because this is not just something that i enjoy doing but it helps my family a lot especially when i think about the amount of health crisis that we have gone through you know especially with my husband dealing with cancer and all the different health issues i come out here not just to give me peace of mind but to help my family to eat healthy and so i'm really disappointed i'm really disappointed i don't know how this year is going to turn out i honestly do not know we may get a lot of vegetables we may not but i'm just going to do my best i'm going to do my best i'm going to do my best i'm not the type of person to just give up easily but i just wanted to let you guys know we're using this you have to be very careful because it is not the same i've used this maybe for seven eight years now i've never had a problem this is my first time having this issue like hello my beautiful people i hope you guys are doing great so i just came out here not too long to check my plants they are looking okay even though some of them are still like on the verge of dying but i'm having faith and i'm going to keep praying that it is going to be okay so even though i may or may not get a lot of food like i have done in the last three four years but i do have faith that it's going to be okay so yesterday what i did I did a lot of cleaning and I tried to treat the soil. So I'm hoping with what I did and with the rain, because it's going to rain the next few days, it's going to help me out. So anyway, have faith. Let's keep pushing. You know, gardening comes with the good, bad, and ugly. So, you know, we have to take it as it come. Have faith, pray, do what we got to do, and keep it moving. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. And I'm not giving up. And neither should you.